okay, well, what are the people, what do the individualists do? Because we need to motivate individualists to be vigilant about not letting, because what happens is individualists let this stuff happen. Like we're the ones who don't fight back. We don't, we let it happen. We kind of like, oh yeah, but we're busy. Well, they have their weird opinion, blah, blah, blah. You know, we don't, we, we kind of let them be. It's like, it's like ignoring a mole that's get, become cancerous. And like, before you know it, you're like, oh crap, I've got to amputate my leg. <laughs> Like, well, yeah, but part of what the, the the quote that has has guided me for the past four years since I first started leaving my belief system is that Nietzsche quote about not becoming the monsters you fight. And when I say that, I don't just say that because I heard someone else say it. I say it because that quote fundamentally changed the way I thought about myself and my relationship to my behaviors and and I could see how the social justice left has become monstrous and has they've become the monsters they fight. What I was afraid of happening is how do I leave that belief system and then try and make sure I don't fall prey to that just on some other side or some, you know, as part of some other ideology. So that means you have to constantly evaluate yourself and make sure your behaviors reflect what you say you believe in and you have to be honest with yourself. Otherwise, like, I think it's a human tendency to, to tend towards hypocrisy. So you have to be vigilant about it. I have a friend who's here in chat today who was, who was saying to me, she said, every once in a while, I question, am I, am I what the legacy media says? Am I just in some conservative echo chamber? Am I the right. one? And, and, and she's like, no, I, I, cause I, she watches media across the board and she makes up her own mind and she evaluates it. And I, I said to her, just the fact that you even ask yourself that question to me proves that you're not in an echo chamber because you're asking the question, you're keeping yourself in check. You're not like, it, it's almost like that saying that crazy people never, crazy people never ask themselves if they're crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right? You know, it's like you just, you, the introspection that it takes to even say, wait a minute, am I in an echo chamber? I want to make sure. You know, I want to go and make sure I look at all these other sources and come to the right conclusion. The people on the left don't do that. The people who are stuck in the cult don't do that. They don't have introspection and they don't they don't stop and say, is it me? They're never the ones to say, wait a minute, are we the brainwashed ones? Like the guy I mentioned earlier who who was astounded that someone might call the New York Times propaganda or might call Washington Post right. propaganda. He had never that guy never I guarantee you never wakes up and wonders if he's being brainwashed or he never says, let me go see what the other side is saying, or let me expand my sources. And he never looks at anything on the right. I guarantee you. I can't think of any outlet that if someone said that's propaganda, my immediate reaction would be something other than, Oh really? Let me think about that. Is it like, that would be my response. No matter what the outlet I think, I mean, I, I might decide it's not after thinking about it, but I, I can't mm -hmm. imagine a response being that's that's crazy to even think. It's like I don't I don't know. I haven't thought right. about it. Maybe, um, you know, one thing that individuals, <laughs> individualists, I I mean, individualists do have. Well, if they're being true individuals, they are focused on introspection and and self reflection and like they have that personal responsibility vibe going on. But the other thing that they're able to do that I think helps prevent becoming monsters, um is there's a there's an option that I think non-individualists never see when someone is in disagreement with you that individualists do see, which is mm -hmm. walk away, live and let live. Like I don't, you don't, they don't see that side. I don't. It's yeah, okay. that's we individualists walk away. And like you said, that it's sort of it's not that. It's not that in people who are for individualism don't care. It's just that they have different motivations and they're not concerned with, they're not as concerned with controlling everyone else. No, it's I like, care very much, why, but I can't yeah, force you to, to agree with me. I can't nor force do I, you. Nor do I want to trick you into agreeing with me. Right. Like, I want to make my argument. And if you believe, if you agree, you agree. If you don't, you don't. Maybe a discussion yeah, will ensue. Yeah, don't, don't. But what they do is they say, we don't like you, therefore we want to get your channel banned. We don't want anyone to be able to listen to you. We want to mob you and give you one-star reviews on Yelp. We want to 
um, you know, go after your, your character. We want to, uh, when people look you up online, we want them to see all these awful things that we think about you. We want to tell everyone in our anchor, echo chamber, um, not to read what you write or to, to, to let you come to their college and speak. Like they really, they can't, they can't just walk away and say, I don't want to listen to you, Alex Jones. They have to say, nobody can listen to Alex Jones. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's not an, there's not a fundamental option of this other entity will be different than what I wish they were. And I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> like, all right. Like that, that's part of life. Um, huh. Well, I don't know if I can figure out how to help us individualists actually do something. I mean, look, I, uh, I think the problem with the individualists myself included we all of us we're not vigilant enough about letting we let our guard down for too long and then it gets to the point where the the action required to undo the horrific injustices and the intrusion into individual liberty is so huge that it becomes overwhelming and you look around and you're like oh my god what happened and when you finally wake up and you realize hey we're marching towards socialism and we're 90 percent of the way there crap this would have been a way easier battle to fight one percent of the way there if we just if 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 somehow we could teach ourselves or learn how to and i don't know the answer to this but like be vigilant at the right time against the right things in the right place and i it's a there's a level of i i almost think individualists have too much tolerance personally not like legally like legally they should tolerate everything but like personal tolerance for like for, for activity or behavior that is pushing society in the direction of anti-individualism. And we, we, ignored, I, I absolutely agree. Yeah. I mean, we, we ignored do. universities for generations. Like, oh, yeah. well, those are the crazy potheads look, you know, doing. But some, here's an example. <laughs> here's an example. So remember one of the first things that got Jordan Peterson sort of like in trouble or whatever yeah. was when he started to make a list of, uh, was it a list of colleges that are pushing or a list of professors that were pushing social justice ideology. And well, his people C-16 said, thing got him the most in trouble, right? Yeah, no, forget that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking I mean, about his, that. right. So, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I, don't, I wasn't sure what you're talking about. Right. I don't, I don't mean about, I don't mean in trouble with, with the, the people in, in control of the narrative. I mean, in trouble with his followers. Oh. People who were following him got upset. Some people did because he was going to make a list or, or he had suggested we should make a list of professors who push social justice ideology. And then after getting a lot of pushback, he, he, he said, you know what, that was a bad idea. I'm not going to do that because people were rightly pointing out, well, then are, is that a slippery slope? What separates, they're making lists right now. They're making lists of people who supported Trump. Do you know what I mean? It's like, are, is that McCarthyism? Are you starting on this path? Of, and so I think people, people who are individualists hold themselves to a higher standard because they're trying not to become the monster they fight. Would it help to have a list for parents to know, hey, these professors push SJW ideology? Yes, it would help if you don't want your kids to take those classes. But at the same time, what are the possible negative ramifications of that? And then how can you rightfully, how can you point, say it's wrong when they do it, when they make lists, well, if you're lists willing, you know? Well, aren't inherently wrong. I mean, I know, but that, that's how you can say it. That's like, okay. how can you say it's wrong when they take a step? Well, because he took a step to push me off a cliff and he took a step to bring me to the ambulance. Like steps are not the problem. Lists are not well, the problem. Well, what's the problem then with the list that you showed at the beginning of the show of Trump people? Well, I think I think the problem with the list at the beginning of the show is it's indicating their intent. Their intent is to harass and and ridicule and ostracize and and possibly even jail people that they don't like. I think this is becoming witch hunt. So I think their intent and the reason for the list matters. Um, I'm not saying a list is the best thing to do for Jordan Peterson either. Um, the problem with the list, so one of the, if you want to talk about problems building a list, one of the only problems I can think of inherently is it allows you to suspend your own judgment and substitute someone else's judgment for, um, for who to associate with. So I do think a list of SJW professors would be helpful. Um, but it's only really helpful if you're not willing to do the work yourself to look at who the professors are that your kid is 
going to go to class with and decide for yourself. So I, lists are a shortcut to the lack of philosophical thinking. And maybe the, maybe the answer, maybe you're right, maybe the answer is lists are bad because we need to engender uh, self-reliance in terms of your, your judgment. The, the, maybe we should go to the Ayn Rand quote. It, the, the, she had an anti-biblical quote, which was, uh, instead of judge not lest ye be judged, her uh, counter to that was judge and prepare to be judged. Right. And and the point she was trying to make wasn't condemn people to death or anything. It was you are responsible for making judgment calls on uh, other people's behavior and actions and not deferring or not. Uh, yeah. Not outsourcing that to Jordan Peterson or anyone else. And right. And it's very easy and lazy to do the outsourcing because no one wants to spend the time actually thinking about it themselves and making up their own mind. Ultimately, I think that's the only thing that actually will help us is if everyone adopts the responsibility to think for themselves and come at, make their own decisions based on principles. Um, maybe we just got lazy but as a group. See, but I don't see, know. You're going, we're going back to that individualist thing. I mean, this I is a difference. In, they will make lists and they will target for harassment and stuff. And, and because individuals hold ourselves to a higher standard and believe in personal responsibility, we're not going to make that. I think it's a good decision not to make that list. In fact, mm -hmm. if, if I try and flip it and think well, what's something positive you could do, I would say, well, maybe you could make a list of professors who don't preach social justice ideology. That's a positive list. Here's a list. Here's some mm -hmm. schools, you know, like the Chicago recommendations uh, rather than recommendations than rather than blacklists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Recommendations of the people that you do like rather than blacklists of the people you don't. Yeah. No, I, I think I, I was coming around to your original yeah. thing. I'm just I'm just thinking it through because um, yeah. ultimately our tool of survival, our weapon is our own rational judgment. And if we're going to suspend it, we will lose. So if you're going to suspend your, your rational judgment, if you're going to suspend your own uh, intestinal, like if you're not going to have the intestinal fortitude to to stand up for things that are wrong and use your own judgment to make decisions about that stuff, then you'll lose. Um, Cause outsourcing it, there's always someone who's willing to make the list for you, no matter what the list is. And they've got an agenda. Usually Jordan Peterson, I don't think had a bad agenda, but regardless, uh, yeah, that makes sense. No, and he, he, he reconsidered it and he ended up not doing it because yeah. people pointed out, you know? Yeah. yeah. Someone says Carter's arguing for practicality carry from principles. No, I, I'm arguing from principles. I'm just, I, I took me a while to get around to where it was. I had to think it through because I hadn't thought of it. Um, I'm definitely, not <laughs> a, I, I, although I would argue um, the right principles right. are practical. So <laughs> uh, if Dion you have a says, conflict between practical and principled, your principles are wrong. Dion says, actually, you can just use the left's blacklist to find the good people. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if we rewind this, if, sorry, if we dig deep enough, I think my conclusion will eventually be like, which no one's going to like, uh, it all comes down to parenting. <laughs> it's it's going to all come down to parent. It's all coming down to raising kids who use their own judgment and think rationally yeah. and are willing and able, uh, and have the courage to think for themselves and, and act for themselves, um, and use their own judgment.